All right, so in this video, we're going to be solving the following problem. So we're given an N times M matrix in which each row is sorted. We want to find the overall median of the matrix. So the way that we define the median of the matrix is we consider each of the rows. This is an example of a matrix that we might be given as input. So each of these lists are the rows in the matrix. And if we just place each of these um, sort of sequentially side by side and sort them. The median element is this element here. So this is kind of the matrix. You can think of it kind of flattened out and sorted. And then we just take the median of that list in this case, which is five. So we want to do this for an arbitrary n cross m matrix. And we want to write a, write a function for us to do that. So that is the problem statement. And let's go and First of all, just let me copy and paste exactly uh, the definition of that example matrix in the way that we'll define it in Python. So I'm defining the vectors in terms of lists, and then what I'm doing is the matrix is just a list of lists. So that is how I'm defining the matrix in this example. And what I'm going to be doing now is defining the function to allow us to find the median of the matrix. So let's call it median matrix and it will take the matrix A. So first what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to check uh, kind of an edge case. And this edge case is if the length of A is 1. So namely if A is not really a matrix but it's actually a vector. So it's a, if it's a vector really all I want to do is return the middle or the median element of that vector. So if length of A is equal to 1 what I want to do is I want to return, let's actually just say vec is equal to a of 0, and I want to return uh, vec of length of vec divided by 2. So this will give me the middle element of the vector that uh, I, I have acquired from a of 0. So otherwise, if the matrix actually has multiple rows, which in this example it does have multiple rows, I'm going to have an else statement to consider this condition here. So let's create a new list. And what I want to do in this case is I want to loop through all of the rows in the matrix. So for row in, let's say, range length of A. So this loop is going to loop through all of the rows. So what I want to do is I want to do something like this. I want to say row.extend a of i. So what is this doing? Well, the extend function is something that Python provides for lists. And what that really is doing is it's just more or less taking the list a of i and continuously appending a new list on top of whatever row is. So I actually don't want to say row here, but I want to say new list. So new list is initially defined as an empty list, and I'm basically just continually building on top of that list. Let me actually just kind of print out what I have so far just to make it clear what's actually happening. So let me print out median matrix of A. And let me print out here, let me print out new list uh, outside of the loop. So let's print out new list. Let's see, so I is not defined. So let's see here, probably because of this here. Right, so at this point what we have is we don't hit this if condition because the A that we're feeding into it has more than one row. So we hit this else condition and we define this empty list and we loop through all the rows in the matrix that we pass in. What we do is we continually extend a list consisting of all the rows. So we essentially are just placing, we're just building this list of all the rows in the matrix. And that is what we're given with here. So it's all of the rows stick to get stuck together. So you can see that 135, 135, 269, 269, 369, 369. So it's just really just, um, I guess you could say vectorizing the matrix is really what it's doing. Okay, so we've done that. So now what we want to do is we want to sort that, uh, that, that vector that we've acquired. So what we can do is we can say new list is equal to sorted 
of new list. So now if we print new list, we won't essentially see this, but we'll see a sorted version of it. So all of the elements of that have now been sorted. So now what we want to do is very simply just return the middle element of that list. So we can say return new list of length of new list divided by two. Again, this will give us the middle element of that list. And if we do that, we have five. Just to make sure that this also works with the, I guess the edge case as you call it, a matrix with a single uh, with a single row, namely a vector, we can try just doing this on, uh, let's say, A1 like this. So if we do it like that, we get that uh, for A1, so this is, let's just be clear here, this is example one, and this is example two. So example two is just a matrix with one row in it. And it's very easy to detect that the median element of this particular um, matrix is three because it's just this row here. And indeed, when we print out the median of matrix A1, which is just the row L1, we get three. So that is the end of this problem. And again, if you have any suggestions, comments, or uh, errors <laughs> to point out, please do not hesitate to let me know. Uh, if you have any suggestions of future videos, I will happily take them. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.